Hey there YouTube, California Prepper. Well, I've been thinking about this video an awful lot and I was kind of hesitant to put it up because I know a lot of people might not agree with it, but this is my channel. You might not agree with it, but this is my opinion. If you don't like the video, you don't have to watch it. Now, if you feel like sticking around, you're more than welcome. So let's jump on in to what I'm thinking about here. Um, the knife I'm really talking about today is going to be the Enlon EL04 with uh, my Carta scales, so the MCT model. Now I know you guys have heard me talk about this knife over and over and over again. And guys, overall this is a great knife. For the price, I do not think you can eat, beat this knife. For $12.00. This is just the best quality knife you're going to get. I mean, this thing, razor sharp, barely any wiggle play at all. I mean, and I've been putting this through some hard use. I'm not scared to beat up this knife at all. As you can see, I have another brand new one there. Still, I mean, this is the first time it's been out of the box. So I have another one put back. I'm not scared to beat this knife up. And, man, it just it proves me wrong day after day. Um, they do have phosphorus bronze washers in there, um, from what I can tell, and they're just made very, very solidly. And I was thinking about it, and I'm like, man, everybody compares this to the Benchmade Reptilian. But to me, when looking at it, it really reminded me a lot more of the Doug Ritter model. As you can see, they both have the, uh, what is it, the... What do they call it? The wide, char uh, wide chard. What is it? Wide cord drop point. Sorry, I couldn't read it from here. So that's the Doug Ritter uh, blade shape. Instead of being a regular drop point, this is a wide cord drop point. And this blade on the Enlon actually follows the look more of the Doug Ritter blade than it does the traditional uh, modified drop point that's on the Mel Pardue designs. That's why I'm comparing these two together. So, with that being explained, what knife do I think is better? Which, of course, the Griptilian, better quality, better steels, but for the price, if I had to choose which one of these was better overall in price, I could buy 10 of these for the price of this. And it's, I mean, so far, I've had this probably about, say, six months. And pretty much this and my native almost go everywhere with me. This is the first knife I whip out when, you know, I need to beat something. If I need to baton through something, I need to chop through something. I mean, this thing is a beast. 8CR13 MOV blade steel. I, I'm really falling in love with this steel. It's a great steel. I mean, it's right in the middle, and it's very easy to sharpen on the sharp maker. I mean, I can bring this edge back in no time at all. And it's relatively strong. I've never rolled the edge. And I mean, even now, after all its use, it's still hair popping sharp. And I mean, if this was a brand new blade, I mean, this blade here has never cut anything. I mean, this thing is wicked, wicked sharp. So, I mean, I, I, I really cannot put down the Enlon knives at all. I'm not saying anything bad about the Doug Ritter. I'm just saying, comparable, $12 to 129 Ah, oh, man. You know, they're, they're just really close in specs. Let me break it down for you. Um... The Anlon blade is a little bit longer here. Um, the Doug Ritter uh, is 3.44 inches. Let me make sure. Double check that for you. Yeah. All right. So this is 3.44 inches, and this is 3.70 inches. So you get a little bit more blade here. You have a lot more weight. Obviously, you have micarta scales with um, full steel liners obviously with the Griptilian you have their what is it Norlex GTX with 410 inserts 
So you lose a lot of weight. It is relatively strong. I've never really bashed on it with a hammer or anything. But I mean, it seems to be pretty sturdy from what I from what I can tell. Um, overall, the blade, of course, S30V with the stone wash is gonna you know far outlast your 8CR 13MOV. But really, for the price, this knife cannot be beaten, guys. I just cannot say enough great things about this knife. It is razor sharp, as I've showed you. I mean, put it side by side with a griptilian. Here's the Doug Ritter. Here is a brand new untouched Enlon blade. So you tell me guys, $129, $12.99, what do you think is a better deal? Now obviously weight's the big issue here. This is a shit ton lighter. Let's see. Turn on the old scale. I haven't used this in a while. Scoot it on over. Zero itself out. First off, we're going to throw the Emon on there. We have 4.9 ounces, it says. Take that off of there. Throw the Doug Ritter on there. 3.8 ounces. So you have a difference about an ounce. But for me, in the price, man, I would take that extra ounce. No problem at all. This Enlon is a great substitute if you cannot afford a Griptilian. If, you know, you're looking at one and you just think, man, I wouldn't want to lose that in the field, but I want something similar to that design. And, you know, I, I, I won't cry if I lose a $12 knife, but I will cry if I lose my Doug Ritter. So, with that being said, that's why I carry the Enlon EL4 uh, with my Carter Scales all the time. I absolutely love this model, guys. One of my favorite knives, and I am so, so happy that I got this knife. So, that's going to do it. Just wanted to do a quick little review of these two knives. When I was looking at them side by side, they just look so much alike. I had to do a quick video on it and just let people know how great of a steal these knives are. Man, I got to get some more Enlons because I am just blown away by these. So, that's going to do it, guys. California Prepper, I'm out of here.